To compute the matrix P of T, we are going to employ the equation we have just seen, the derivative of the state transition probability matrix equals state transition probability matrix times the infinitesimal generator. Okay, so here you see the derivative of the state transition probability matrix, four components. And on the right hand side, we have the state transition probability matrix times the uh, infinitesimal generator. Now, for this specific system, um, first of all, you should observe that since all rows of the state transition probability matrix should add up to one, we know that this here would be one minus this. And very similarly, this one here is going to be equal to one minus this one here. So from each of these rows, I can just solve one function. For instance, if I solve P11 T, I can immediately obtain P12 T because they add up to one, simple as that. So I don't need to solve P12 separately, okay? Similarly with P21 and P22, it suffices that you solve just one. Um, now, from this matrix equation, this equation, well, of course, if you expand the uh, components, uh, you have the relationship between P11, its derivative, and lambda and mu. Um, this is just expanding this product here, okay? And uh, if you just expand it, you, you can write P11 derivative and p22 derivative as i said i did not write p12 and p21 separately because i'm not going to solve them separately uh, if i just solve p11 and p22 that is sufficient now i have these two equations um well as you see these are differential equations so i need to solve these differential equations but uh, one further remark here is the symmetry in the system. Symmetry in the sense that um, lambda and mu, their roles with respect to the state transition from one two and two one are symmetrical. What does it mean? It means that if one obtains the solution for P11, it's easy to obtain P22 by interchanging lambda and mu and vice versa. Why? Because, well, if you just change state one to two and two to one, and if you exchange lambda and mu, you get the same system. It's, it's a symmetrical system in that sense, okay? So if you solve P11, and in that solution, if you switch lambdas to mu's and mu's to lambdas, you will get the solution for P22, simple as that. So now I don't even need to solve two instead of four. Only one is going to be sufficient. Um, now, this is the equation P11 derivative equals this function P11t times minus lambda minus mu plus mu. Okay, so this is a simple uh, differential equation, but it's not homogeneous. You have this mu term here which makes it inhomogeneous. So what I need to do is I need to solve the homogeneous part of this equation and also find a particular solution, okay? To solve the homogeneous equation, of course, you need to get rid of this term, okay? So the derivative of P11 equals uh, P11 times minus lambda minus mu, okay? So this is something like derivative of y equals a times y. So the solution would be, the homogeneous solution uh, would be y equals e to the power ax in this form. So what I, I have in the solution is this, some constant times e to the power minus lambda plus mu times t, okay? And of course, we do not know the value of the c, but we will use initial values to obtain the value of C. And the particular solution, well, now this is in play, mu, okay? You see, 
the particular solution is a constant. Why? Because if it's a constant, the derivative dies out, it becomes zero. And you see, you can find a constant for this to satisfy this equaling zero. Okay. So you set that down, you solve for it, uh, you obtain the particular solution as mu divided by lambda plus mu. Okay, now I have the homogeneous uh, solution and the particular solution. Therefore, add them up. Okay, P11 T is equal to their sum. But at this point, of course, I do not know the value of C. To, to find that, I will have to use the initial value where uh, the transition probability from one to one within time zero is one because there is no time to make a transition. So the probability that I stay in state one should be one. So um, at time t, just plug in zero in this expression. So this becomes one. So that is c plus mu divided by lambda plus mu. This should equal to one. That means c equals lambda divided by lambda plus mu. So plug it in, and this is your solution. P11 equals lambda over lambda plus mu times e to the power minus lambda plus mu times t plus mu divided by lambda plus mu. Now, as I said, you can find P12 by subtracting this from one. And if you look closely, you will see that these two, when you add them up, they make one, okay? These two terms, the exponentials, they cancel each other out due to this negative. And this, this term and this term add up to one. And furthermore, remember to find P22, I was to um, swap the roles of mu and lambda so that I can write directly from here, that would be mu divided by lambda plus mu times the exponential ter term uh, plus lambda divided by lambda plus mu, okay? And finally, from this, you can find P21 by subtracting this from one, okay? So this gives you the entire set of transition probabilities within time t.